Microsoft exams just got way easier. Starting 22nd of August, Microsoft will be updating all of their role-based and specialty exams to allow for the use of a new tool. You know, like that calculator that nobody uses. But this new tool is actually very, very useful. It's Microsoft Learn. Yeah, you can now browse around the documentation while taking your exam. Let's take a closer look at the details of this announcement. First of all, don't run along and book your exams right away. The announcement, which is of course linked down in the description, only details that Microsoft will begin the work of updating their exams. They expect to be done with this by mid-September, so you still have a bit of time to study. But let's take a look at what this means and how this will work later on, which exams this applies to as well. Like I mentioned in the intro, this change will add in Microsoft Learn as a tool right alongside the calculator. So you will have a button on the bottom row of the screen that says Microsoft Learn and show the Learn logo. Clicking that button will split the screen and open up Edge on the side. No, I don't think you'll ever get the option to switch to another browser. Pretty sure you'll always be stuck with Edge. While Edge is open, you can use it pretty much like a normal browser in the sense that you can use multiple tabs, rearrange them and so on. You can change the size of Edge and you can run it in full screen mode if you want to. But you will be limited to only the content on Microsoft Learn, excluding the Q&A section and actually logging in. That also means that any links that are on Microsoft Learn that points to other domains, for example, GitHub, will not work. A fair warning though, no additional time will be added to your exam and the timer will continue to run when you are scrolling through Learn. This means that you cannot base your success on exam on the fact that you will have access to all of the answers. If you will need to search around Learn on each and every question, then you will probably run out of time pretty fast. Now, this change does not apply to all Microsoft exams. The announcement clearly states that this is not for the fundamentals exams like the AZ900, it's only for the role-based and speciality exams like the AC104, AC140 and so on. I for one, I welcome this change for Microsoft. It makes the exam more like a real-life scenario and less of a just memorize tons of details kind of thing. I mean, things like SKUs and stuff is not something that one should need to memorize. You know, maybe now I'll get around to finally taking that AZ500 exam that's been on my list for a while. So what are your thoughts on the fact that Microsoft Design just got way easier? Will it give you the additional confidence to finally take that exam? Or do you feel that this change devalues the exams you've already taken? Give me your thoughts down in the comments. Either way, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, cheers.